What is up, everyone? Today we're here with MLP Season 6, Episode 8, A Hearth's Warming Tale. Uh, a Hearth's Warming 2. Well, I wonder what this one's going to be about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be about Hearth's and Hooves Day. That's my guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, let's just go right in. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Christmas music. <laughs> Ding dong ding. Decorations we shall make. Heart swarming, he is here once again. Perfection you just cannot fake. Heart swarming, he is here once again. Not one mistake. Don't let that break. Oh, for the sake. Derpy, you idiot. No, <laughs> <laughs> Derpy the star. Hey, Starlight, ready to celebrate your first She's gonna sit there the entire day. <laughs> I was thinking I might just skip it. <gasps> Bro, did you not just hear the epic music? <laughs> that means you shouldn't say no to that question. Or, I mean, you shouldn't try to skip it. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Starlight. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness is an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. Do you know you are my very best? My very best friend. Yes. Are <laughs> swarming Eve? I just find it all a little silly. It's mostly a day Bruh. dedicated to <laughs> presents and candy, isn't it? And why would you deny yourself presents and candy? That's crazy talk! I think what Spike means to say is, heart swarming is about more than presents and <laughs> She just and threw him! It's the time to spend with friends and family when we celebrate a very important day in Equestria's history. I think to most ponies, it's just an excuse for silly songs and fun. Not a day to remember some old story. Maybe you just haven't heard the right heart swarming Eve story yet. Earth ponies, Pegasi, and unicorns sing songs around a hearth to fight back an eternal winter caused by the <laughs> mythical Windigos. <laughs> Every foal in Philly knows that story. Not that one. My favorite holiday story. A hearth swarming tale. Ooh, I love oh, that one. <laughs> this is the story of a powerful unicorn named Snowfall Frost who hated hearth swarming Eve. It all began many moons ago in Canterlot. Everyone oh boy. <laughs> it's one of these episodes. <laughs> it was said of Snowfall that she was almost as studied as Star Swirl the Bearded. <laughs> almost. Since every oh my god. Okay, wait. <laughs> transfiguration, dimensional calibration, teleportation. We get it. Star Swirl's awesome. Right. The point is, Snowfall was also a powerful unicorn. She wanted to be perfect. Anything that got in the way of that was a waste of time. Ugh. Well, that batch is ruined. Snow Dash! Snow Dash was Snowfall's loyal assistant. <laughs> what do you do? Get this mess cleaned up. Those foolish ponies were. Dude, she even has the same haircut and everything. My concentration. <laughs> wow, ponies actually enjoying hearts warming Eve. Where did they get that crazy idea? 
Today is nothing to celebrate. Heart's Warming Eve is a menace. A dangerous day for all of Equestria. Dangerous? It's awesome! It's the day we remember how unicorns, pegasi, and our ponies <laughs> it's came together awesome. to defeat the Wendigos! That silly legend is the problem. Telling every pony that singing songs and being nice will solve anything? I've spent years studying magic, and that's not how it works. I, I don't know. I might be missing the point. <laughs> Work hard, learn, and use your skills to better Equestria. That's a worthy goal for any pony. But by all means, if you want to go home early, ignore all of the work you have and spend the rest. Wait! <laughs> 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 Hate warming Eve. All of Equestria would be better off if we just skipped the day altogether. Happy hearts warming, they say in the street. Happy hearts warming, they think they're so sweet. Words said so often that they lack any meaning. Why should I join in when I could be intervening? Every pony loves this cursed holiday, but would they be better off with it out of the way? Well, okay. To the holiday with my magic, I'll erase it. The greatest Bruh. gift that I give today, and every pony will have to robbery. Uh, it's like Snow one day of the year. Calm down now. So she decides to cast a spell to get rid of it altogether? That seems a little extreme. Says the pony who tries Bruh. to make every pony the same by replacing the two marks with equal signs. I think what Spike is trying to say is that every <laughs> pony has their reasons for doing things, even Snowfall. And if I could continue the story, we might just find out what they are. Proceed. Snowfall was all set to yeah, I gotta get Spike's permission first. <laughs> for all time, when a voice from the hearth caught her attention. You sure you want to go through with this? Huh, who's there? The spirit oh boy. of <laughs> past, that's who. <laughs> and you and me have got to have us a little chat. A spirit? I didn't cast any spirit summoning spell. What are you doing here? <laughs> You don't think a spell like that would get by without some powerful forces noticing. You've got our attention, Snowfall Frost. And we've got some pretty strong opinions on this spell of yours. We? They'll be along on this bit. spell of yours. For now, it's just you and me. Let's get a move on. We got a ton to see and barely any time to see it. I'm not going oh boy, she got the hat. <laughs> I got a spell to cast, and I don't need a history lesson about hearts warming Eve. We aren't yes, you going do. to the past to learn about the holiday. We're going to learn about you. <laughs> As a young thing, life sure is something. You go making choices large and small. It's always growing like a seedling, and playing is like dreaming. And before you know it, big and tall. Choice you 
What do you think you're doing, Snowfall? Decorating the classroom for Heart's Warming Eve, Professor Flintheart. You said you wanted to learn to be a power. His name is literally Flintheart, bro. <laughs> and what's the way that one becomes a powerful unicorn? <clears throat> Work hard, learn, and use your skills to better Equestria. And how do these help you to learn magic? Be strong enough to stop windigos and help ponies. That's just a story we tell little ponies. Real magic takes time to learn. Oh my god! It's your choice. Spend your time learning to become a powerful unicorn or play with your toys and make nothing of yourself. Then some distress, words so careless, standing there you don't know what to do. Feeling helpless, you can't make it hurt less, so you go and change your point of view. And in that moment, though you didn't know it, your defenses set up walls you built to last, leading to the pony you've become today, and the spell you're about to cast, it all comes from your past. The seeds of the past. We grow up so fast, some hurts never go away. The seeds as they grow, this we can't let go. All tied to this. The starlight sounds a lot like uh, another starlight, I know. <laughs> Spirit, what am I supposed to. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't you mean present like the time? No! Toys, heartswarming dolls, you want a cupcake? As the spirit of heartswarming future rarity. <laughs> All of the best things that ponies waste their time on. Oh, Snowfall, it's not what the gift is that matters, it's what the gift means. It doesn't mean is anything, it's just a cheese stand. Sometimes a cupcake, I love you! Or a toy means, hi, how you doing? Sometimes a book means your mane looks amazing, and sometimes a scarf means, well, a scarf usually means you look cold. That one's easy. I don't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> What's happening to you? My spirit of heart's warming present sense is going off. That means the song is coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Kinky songs are my favorite. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
reason is to be with friends. <laughs> what? You know you're doing your Pinkie Pie voice, right? <laughs> I was not. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happens next? Man, he drank all the hot chocolate, bro. Party was great. <laughs> Can we take a quick break? I need to refill my cocoa. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Party was in full swing. No dash. Hey, Mary. Well, whatever is the matter, darling? Was it the eggnog? Oh, I knew I put in too much cinnamon. Oh no, the eggnog was awesome, Flutter Holly. I'm just mad at some pony. Flutter Holly. <laughs> I don't suppose that pony's name starts with snow and ends with frost. She said heartwarming Eve is just an excuse to party, and we would all be better off spending time working to make Equestria a better place. <laughs> what does Snowfall think a better Equestria looks like? Ponies working hard, learning, and using their abilities for the benefit of Equestria. <laughs> It looks like we've got everything on Snowfall's list right here. I think a perfect equestria looks a lot like a horse warming Eve party. Me too! Too bad it's going to be the last one ever! Ever! <laughs> <laughs> Spirit? What do you mean? What's going to happen? Oh boy. Well, the spirits of the heartworm heartwarming future cannot oh wait, is it Luna? <laughs> I am the spirit of heartwarming yet to come. Are you here to show me what future heartwarming eves are like? No, for there are no more heartwarming eves for me to show. Why not? You will succeed in erasing the holiday as you wished. And what happens? I see a cold winds blowing. Days neither fun nor free. I see a future caused by you. I see a path not meant to be. The future should be filled with magic, dreams and wishes brought to life. Time for hope when all is strife. Why is she so long? All the dreams that ponies share because of you, snowfall frost. Now the future is a cold night. Indigos, they aren't real, it's just a little Philly story. They are all too real, snowfall, and your actions will allow them to return. The future of Equestria shall be bathed in a blanket of eternal snow. No, I never meant for this to happen. I didn't understand. I didn't see how important Heartswarming Eve was. Please, Spirit, I haven't cast the spell yet. Is there still time? I'm sorry! Snowfall Frost? I was hoping I wasn't too late for the party. I brought gifts. What? I was wrong earlier. About Heart's Warming Eve. It's not all about singing and presents. The singing and presents are all about celebrating the ponies in our lives. The ponies we should listen to more often. Our friends. Wow. Dragon toenail. Uh, thanks? I was in a hurry. I'll do better next time. <laughs> you kidding? No one's ever given me dragon toenail before? He's <laughs> awesome! Now so come get him, Ignat! And from then on, it was always said of all the hearts warming Eve celebrations, Snowfalls was the hearts warmingest. The end.
Well, that's it. Thanks for letting me read you the story. Guess you can call it a night. Spike and I are heading downstairs. And if you wanted to, you'd be welcome to join us. I don't think I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the party. Happy have you seen that that I, I know that story this story always reminds me have you seen that that one meme where it's like it's a tweet and the dude is like uh 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 two two people appear in front of you one specter and one slightly better looking version of yourself and then the, spe the specter's like and this is what you would be and then, and then, he, and then the other version of you is like, "Oh God, spare me these visions, Specter! I won't ever do that." And then they both disappear. <laughs> now it's time to celebrate. Our swarming Eve is here once again, all together feeling great. Our swarming Eve is here once again. Can't hardly wait. We'll party till late. Our favorite date. Happy right. heartwarming! <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good episode. The Christmas episode. Yeah, that was also a musical, clearly. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's ten songs in it. But yeah, all the songs were pretty good. <gasps> uh, 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 uh. Don't they so nice? I like the pinky one the best. One thing that does bother me about this episode, though, is um, near the end, in that last song, when Twilight was holding like her cider cup, there's like a pretty big like animation error or whatever, and that just bothers me so much for some reason. What? What is it? Uh, I'll show you in a minute, but uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I guess we'll see you all in the uh, next one. See ya. Oh yeah!